So in this video, we are going to take a little bit of time to talk about the reciprocal trig functions. So in a prior video, we introduced SOHCAHTOA and talked about how to use SOHCAHTOA to find sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle within a right triangle. And now these are referred to as the reciprocal trigonometric functions. You won't deal with these quite as often as you do with sine, co as you deal with sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, but you will see them off and on. So we want to definitely make sure we know how to compute uh, the trigonometric ratios cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Once again, these all have to have an angle that's mentioned in order to make them make sense. Uh, the abbreviations of cosecant, secant, and cotangent, uh, same connotation for cotangent and secant as we use for sine, cosine, and tangent. It's just the first three letters of the bigger name of the ratio. For cosecant, it's a little different. We can't use COS again because that could be confused with cosine. So we use CSC for cosecant. So here would be the abbreviations for those three trigonometric ratios. And then by definition, here's how we define them. Cosecant of an angle is defined to be one over sine of the angle. Secant of the angle is defined to be one over cosine of the angle. And cotangent of the angle is defined to be one over tangent of the angle. So the reason why these are called the reciprocal trig functions, the reciprocal of sine of theta would be one divided by sine of theta. Here's the reciprocal of cosine and here's the reciprocal of tangent. Now, if you remember our discussion of SOHCAHTOA from that prior video, sine is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse, right? S-O-H, that first syllable of SOHCAHTOA. So when we compute cosecant of an angle, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the sine ratio. We're, we're not going to do opposite divided by hypotenuse. We're going to flip that, take the reciprocal of it, and we're going to do hypotenuse divided by opposite. Uh, for secant, it's the reciprocal of cosine. So cosine, C-A-H from SOHCAHTOA, is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Well, if I take the reciprocal of that, hypotenuse divided by adjacent is how we can compute secant of the angle theta. And then for cotangent, we flip the TOA portion of SOHCAHTOA. So tangent is opposite divided by adjacent. Therefore, cotangent is adjacent divided by opposite. So we'll do a couple examples here with these. Oh, I guess one more thing to say before we leave this screen. One of the easiest mistakes to make when you're dealing with the reciprocal trig functions is to mess up the relationship between cosecant and sine and secant and cosine. These trig functions, secant and sine, they, they start with the same letter. It's easy to assume that they correspond to each other through this reciprocal relationship, but that is not the case. So when you're considering these reciprocal trig functions, the reciprocal trig function and the normal trig ratio, they are going to have inverted relationships between their letters. So the C's and the S's are related to each other. It's not the S's related to each other and the C's related to each other. It's the C's and the S's are, are kind of invertly related to each other. So easy to, to think that secant is one over sine and cosecant is one over cosine, but that's not by definition the relationship that we need to make sure we, we recall. So in these quick examples here, uh, we are asked to take an answer so we don't have a triangle here. In the final example that we do within this video, we're going to deal with a triangle again. But in this case, we're told that cosine of an angle is equal to 3 over 4. We are asked to find secant of the same angle. Well, think about how secant relates to the regular trig ratios. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine. We know that the answer for cosine of this angle is 3 over 4. Well, what's the reciprocal of, of 3 over 4? Well, the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is just 4 over 3. Done. Uh, cosecant of theta is equal to 1.345. We're asked to find sine of theta. Now, sine and cosecant, they are also related to each other through a reciprocal relationship. So if I know the answer for cosecant is 1.345, then the, the answer for sine is going to be the reciprocal of that. So rather than this decimal divided by 1, the reciprocal would be 1 divided by 1.345. So these are just really straightforward examples. When you first are introduced to these reciprocal trig ratios, as we just were, you'll do some problems that are basically just kind of hammering home the, the definitions that we just looked at. And that's exactly what these problems are doing. 
In this problem, it's it's obviously a little bit more involved. We're asked to find the values of the six, tr six trigonometric ratios for the angle P. So the six trigonometric ratios are the three from Sokotoa, sine, cosine, and tangent, uh, and then the three reciprocals, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Now, the way that I wrote these out, I wrote sine and cosecant directly beside each other because these are reciprocals of each other. I, drew, I wrote cosine and secant right beside each other because they're reciprocals of each other. I did the same thing with tangent and cotangent. So we are asked to do this for the angle P. So we've got this right triangle provided to us here. Angle P is in the top left corner of that triangle. And what we need to do is we need to find the values of all six of these. So I'm just going to go in order. I'm going to start with sine of angle P. So from Sokotoa, S-O-H, sine is opposite. So opposite angle P. On the other side of this triangle, we see seven centimeters. SOH, so opposite is seven. I need to divide by the hypotenuse. Now you'll see I've written this value in. That wasn't given to us from the onset of this problem. So like we did in our initial, in, in our introduction to uh, Sokotoa, sine, cosine, and tangent, we had to find one of the missing side measures of a right triangle. You're just going to do that with the Pythagorean theorem, right? Nothing's changed. You're just going to do that with the familiar way. So if I take this leg squared plus this leg squared, that's got to equal the hypotenuse squared. Well, if I'm trying to simplify that, I can square 10 and 7. I get 100 plus 49. Uh, that's obviously 149. Well, if I'm trying to solve for C, I'm going to have to undo that exponent on the C by taking a square root of both sides. So that's going to give me square root of 149 for C. So opposite divided by hypotenuse is going to be 7 divided by the square root of 149. I said this in the last video, the introduction to Sokotoa. I'll say it again now. In these introductory problems here, I'm fine if you leave answers with roots and denominators. Pay attention to what your teacher, your professor is asking of you. If they're saying you want a simplified answer that doesn't allow for a root in the denominator, you might have to do some work with this in order to, to rationalize that denominator. But in this intro to this stuff, I'm fine with, with you leaving your answers looking like this. Before I do any other work, I'm going to get the next answer that I think is easy to determine, just like we did back here. If we knew the answer for, for cosecant, it was easy to determine the answer for sine. Now we know the answer for sine is 7 over the square root of 149. We know that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So because I'm dealing with the same angle here, and I've already got the answer for sine of that angle, all I have to do is flip that fraction to get the answer for cosecant. I'm going to do the same thing for cosine and tangent and use the reciprocal relationships to determine the answers for secant and cotangent. So for cosine, C-A-H, the middle syllable from Sokotoa, cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So we've got to find the angle that we're doing this for, which is angle P again adjacent leg to the angle P measures 10 centimeters divided by the hypotenuse is going to measure square root of 149 centimeters. So here is the ratio for cosine of the angle P. And then for tangent of P, the last syllable of Sokotoa, T-O-A, opposite divided by adjacent. So find the angle P again, opposite the angle P, we see seven centimeters, adjacent leg to the angle P, we see 10 centimeters. All I'm doing for secant and cotangent is I'm using the relationship between the secant being the reciprocal of cosine. So I flip the answer for cosine to get my answer for secant of the same angle. I flip my answer for tangent to get my answer for cotangent of that same angle. So hopefully this has provided you with a bit of an introduction to the reciprocal trig functions. We'll be doing some more trig in the next few videos.